Our journey begins with understanding the mind-body connection. We often believe that our external circumstances dictate our internal state. However, this perspective is a bit misleading. In reality, the change we seek is not outside of us, it's within us. Our internal state shapes our external reality. Many of us spend our lives waiting for external events to make us feel whole, successful, or loved. This approach to life is rooted in a cause and effect paradigm, influenced heavily by consumerism and external programming. We mistakenly equate momentary pleasure with true happiness, not realizing that they are vastly different. This misunderstanding leads us into a cycle that resembles addiction. When we experience emotional trauma, we seek relief in external stimuli, be it substances, shopping, or other habits. These activities temporarily alter our internal state, giving us a fleeting sense of relief. But this is a short-term solution. Over time, our brain's pleasure centers become desensitized, and we need more of these stimuli to achieve the same effect. This cycle can make us feel trapped and powerless. The key to breaking this cycle is self-awareness. By becoming conscious observers of our thoughts, behaviors, and emotions, we step out of autopilot. This process is known as metacognition. When we observe ourselves, we are no longer enslaved by our programmed responses. We begin to see the gap between our external persona and our true inner feelings. Embracing change requires us to step out of our comfort zones. This journey, which I like to call crossing the river of change, involves not repeating our habitual choices. It's about consciously deciding to think act and feel differently. This process can be uncomfortable and unpredictable, but it's essential for true transformation. Now let's come to the two powerful words that can catalyze this change. Choose differently. These words are a reminder that you have the power to break free from past conditioning and create a new reality. Our thoughts are not just fleeting moments of consciousness. They are the architects of our reality. Every thought carries with it the potential to shape our lives. Think of your mind as a garden. The thoughts you plant, nurture, and give attention to will eventually grow and manifest in your life. Therefore, it's essential to be selective about the seeds you're planting in this garden of your mind. Most of our thoughts are repetitive and conditioned from past experiences. By the time we reach adulthood, a significant portion of our mental landscape is dominated by these ingrained patterns. To manifest a new reality, you must first become aware of these habitual thoughts and consciously choose to change them. Conscious awareness is like turning on a light in a dark room. Suddenly you can see what's there, and more importantly, you have the choice to keep it or change it. This awareness is the first step in choosing your thoughts. It's about observing your mental patterns without judgment and deciding which ones serve your highest good. One effective technique for reshaping your thought patterns is mental rehearsal. This involves vividly imagining your desired future, engaging all your senses in this process. By regularly practicing mental rehearsal, you begin to create new neural pathways in your brain. These pathways eventually become so strong that they overshadow the old patterns, making it easier for you to think in alignment with your desired reality. Imagine yourself achieving your goals. See it in great detail. Where are you? Who is with you? What are you doing? How do you feel? This practice is not mere daydreaming. It's a deliberate act of creation. Each time you engage in this visualization, you're building the infrastructure in your brain to make this imagined reality more attainable. Another powerful tool is the use of affirmations and positive self-talk. These are simple yet profound statements that reinforce your ability to create the life you desire. Phrases like, I am capable, I am worthy, and I am creating my reality can have a profound impact on your subconscious mind, gradually altering your belief system and your reality.
As you embark on this journey of choosing your thoughts, be prepared for resistance. Change is often uncomfortable, even at the mental level. You might find old patterns trying to reassert themselves. This is normal. Recognize these moments as opportunities to reaffirm your commitment to your new path. Actions are where thoughts take physical form. They are the bridge between the internal world of your mind and the external reality. Every action you take is a statement of your intention, a physical manifestation of your inner state. Much of our daily behavior is habitual, carried out without conscious thought. To manifest a new reality, it's crucial to become aware of these habits and ask yourself whether they align with your goals. If not, it's time to choose different actions. Discipline plays a key role in this process. It's about choosing actions that align with your future self, even when they feel unfamiliar or challenging. This might mean waking up earlier to meditate, choosing healthier foods, or dedicating time to develop a new skill. Start by creating a new routine that supports your goals. This could involve setting aside time each day for activities that bring you closer to your desired reality. It's not just about doing different things, it's about doing things differently. Remember, small steps lead to significant changes. You don't have to overhaul your life overnight. Consistent, small actions taken daily can have a profound cumulative effect. Celebrate each step you take, recognizing that each one is a building block in creating your new reality. As with thoughts, changing your actions will likely meet with resistance. This is the body's way of clinging to what's familiar. Acknowledge this resistance, but don't let it deter you. Each time you choose an action that aligns with your new reality, you strengthen your resolve and your ability to manifest your desires. Emotions are the language of the body. They are the chemical expressions of our thoughts and perceptions. To manifest a new reality, it's essential to align your emotions with your aspirations. This involves being conscious of your emotional state and choosing emotions that support your goals. Many of us are addicted to certain emotions, even negative ones like stress, anger, or sadness. These emotions are familiar and, in a way, comforting, but they anchor us to our past. To create a new future, you need to break free from these emotional addictions and cultivate emotions that resonate with your desired reality. Begin by identifying emotions that align with your goals. If you desire success, cultivate feelings of confidence and achievement. If you seek love, nurture feelings of compassion and openness. This process involves consciously generating these emotions, even when they seem at odds with your current reality. Gratitude is a particularly powerful emotion in this transformation. It shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant in your life. By practicing gratitude, you open yourself up to receiving more of what you're thankful for. This journey of emotional transformation is not always smooth. You might encounter moments of doubt or revert to old emotional patterns. These moments are part of the process. Acknowledge them, learn from them, and return to choosing emotions that align with your new reality. Living as your future self is about embodying the characteristics of the person you aspire to be. It's not about pretending, it's about being. This involves aligning your thoughts, actions, and emotions with the person you intend to become. There's often a gap between who we are and who we want to be. Bridging this gap requires a conscious effort to think, act, and feel in ways that are consistent with your future self. This might involve making choices that feel unfamiliar or challenging, but are in line with your goals. Consistency is key in this process. It's about making a daily commitment to live as your future self. Each day, ask yourself, how would my future self handle this situation? What decisions would they make? How would they react emotionally? Stepping into the shoes of your future self can be uncomfortable. It involves stepping into the unknown and letting go of the familiar. Recognize that this discomfort is a sign of growth. It's an indication that you're moving away from your past self 
and stepping into your new reality. Finally, celebrate your progress. Recognize and appreciate the changes you're making no matter how small. Each step you take brings you closer to becoming the person you aspire to be and manifesting the life you desire.